If you are just starting out in racing simulation, you've probably been spending a lot of time researching wheelbases, wheels, shifters, and handbrakes. But how much time have you spent looking at pedals? Those usually come bundled with wheelbases, right? So who cares? You might be surprised to find out that the pedals you choose can have a significant impact on your lap times, maybe even more so than the wheelbase you choose. Today, we are looking at the LC100 from Camus, and it just might be the best budget option for 2024. I'm Jesse, this is Bartman's Bits, and today, we're stepping up our game, literally. This is the LC100 from Camus, and it's the complete package for a fraction of what some higher end sets cost. Let's take a quick look at these specs. Three pedals, clutch, brake, and throttle, made of solid steel. And I do mean solid. Magnetic Hall effect sensors for the throttle and clutch. The brake has a hydraulic damper and a 100 kilogram load cell. There's a hub that they all connect to, and the connection to the PC is via the usual USB-B to USB-A cable. To finish it all off, there is a chungus base plate that weighs a thousand pounds. On the base plate itself, there are adjustments for the pedals to move them left and right. That way you can get them closer for the, the usual heel-toe method. Unfortunately, this base from Camist is just a little too wide for my next level racing stand. So I had to take out the pedals individually from the base and then install them on the base that came with the stand. Now that we got the specs out of the way, let's discuss each pedal, starting with the brake. The brake pedal is phenomenal. On my CSL pedals, there is a load cell and a pretty static damper that equates to very little movement. Now, I don't have a high performance car in my garage. If that's what the pedal for those cars is supposed to feel like, then good for them. I want my brake pedal to match what I drive daily as that is where my mind goes when coming up on a corner. The feel of hydraulic dampening, then stiffening up until I can't move it anymore. That's exactly what we get here. There is some room for adjustment, but honestly, this is exactly how I wanted it straight out of the box. Now onto the throttle. The throttle could use a little work. I want it to be nice and light, and unfortunately the spring included doesn't allow for that. It's stiff enough that longer sessions begin to hurt my foot. I've ordered a set of lighter springs for both the clutch and the throttle to keep things light. And that's a pretty cheap investment to get the feel that you want. And finally, the clutch. The clutch can be set up to mimic a bite point and release past that if you work on it a little bit. As mentioned with the throttle, the spring was a little stiff and I need to borrow some spacers to get it just right. Camus, if you're listening, throw in some lighter springs and a handful of different size spacers to help with the customization. The three pedals share common components from the base up with the additional load cell bracket being the only difference between them. This is good should you ever need a replacement. The part of the pedal that contacts your foot has holes in it that make it look like it's adjustable, but it's not. I found the one position that it can go into good for me, but that may not be the case for you. Camus is relatively new to the sim game, so it helps to compare with some brands that are more well known. To gather comparable pedal sets, we have to define some key components. First and most obvious, the number of pedals. Some of the more budget or bundled options include a gas and a brake, but the clutch is an optional add-on. This is a clear win for the LC100, clutch included. Second is the way the brake force is measured. Cheaper sets will use a simple damper or spring setup for resistance with a Hall effect sensor for measuring pedal movement. It is widely accepted that the first upgrade anyone should do to their pedal set is to add a load sensor to replace that Hall effect sensor. This helps to simulate the minimal amount of movement found in most race cars. The LC100 comes with a hydraulic damper and a load cell pre-installed. This is a huge bonus for this set as adding a load cell to something like the CSL pedals from Fanatec will cost an additional $140. The third is adjustability of the pedal set. What can you change to make it fit your driving style? Do you like a weighty throttle feel? Maybe a light clutch? or a brake pedal that has a little more movement. Adjustments like these are usually found on higher end pedals, while the budget options are usually fixed. Now that we have those parameters set, we can gather up competing pedals to see if the Camus LC100 pedal set 
is worth the $250 price tag. So the LC100 goes up against the following pedals. First is the Moses CRP. This is a three pedal set with a load cell as standard and it has pretty decent adjustability. Next is the Fanatec CSL LC or V2. Three pedals and a load cell for each. That's $200 and $300 respectively. There is also the Thrustmaster TLCM. Three pedals, load sensor, and it's the same price. The LC100 is well equipped for the price range it sits in. More expensive options can't justify the price due to less overall features or the same exact features for double the price. The budget options can't compete as they're missing one or many of the key features found on the LC100. Now, it's not perfect though. And here are my complaints. Adjustment is great to a point. There are plenty of holes to change angles spacers to change the travel, and nuts to change the stiffness. The problem is all of these don't work together. For example, you can change the angle of the throttle pedal to reduce attention and increase travel a bit. That means that to keep the pedal tight, you need to extend the back. In doing so, you've created way too much travel for those spacers to deal with. Now that pedal travels so far that it rubs on this point here and travels so far that it hits the nut before the spacer. Are there more spacers included to compensate for this? No. I set this up in a couple of different titles and from the decent amount of driving I did, I can confidently say that for $250, this should be your next pedal set, unless you own something that costs more. If you have a budget set from any of the major brands, this would be worth looking at as an upgrade. Aside from its slightly stiff clutch and throttle, I was pleasantly surprised by the smoothness and the solid feel that these pedals provided. They perform way higher than their price points. The construction is just about as solid as you can get and the movement is smooth and controlled. Accuracy was great and setup was a breeze. Open the Camus app, calibrate the endpoints, and then head into game and assign as required. Moving on to the final thoughts. The LC100 has some issues, but out of the box will provide a more immersive experience than some of the cheaper competition and with a few minor adjustments can be really, really good. I've enjoyed using these pedals and as of right now, the Camus Direct Drive Wheel and LC100 have replaced my Fanatec CSL Direct Drive and Pedal Set. Now, if you wanna check these out, head to the link down in the description. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.